The Wholesome Direct 2023 came for our wallets. I mean, let's just call it for what it is. They must have announced over a hundred titles from new releases to releases throughout 2023 and even teasing some games into 2024. The Wholesome Direct is easily becoming my new favorite video games announcement event of every year. And if you're a fellow cozy, casual, wholesome, gamer, <laughs> then there's a lot to look forward to. I broke down my personal favorite games and recommendations from the entire Wholesome Direct into smaller bite-sized lists so that it's easier for you to find your new favorite. I'm starting this one out with games that have just released and also coming very, very soon in the month of June so that you can play and enjoy these cozy games as soon as possible. So if you haven't added these to your wish list yet, well, get them ready. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see my recommendations for Steam and some on mobile as well, definitely keep an eye out on my next few videos because I think there's something for everyone. Frog Song is out now on Steam, but I still wanted to mention it in this video because it is coming on the Switch very soon to follow. Frog Song is a heartfelt journey about finding yourself and self-love about an adorable little tree frog named Chorus. In this hand-drawn 2D adventure, Chorus wants to chase his dreams in becoming a protector of the world. Sadly, the other frogs don't really see him as a warrior type because of his size and think that he should just focus on studies instead. So Chorus ends up moving to a new village where he hopes to train with an old veteran, but he soon discovers that things aren't really going to be as simple as he'd hoped, and he will be met with even more challenges than anticipated. Explore the land finding different monsters and villages, and follow along his adventure as he meets different strange but cute characters, figure out how to protect his loved ones, and try to make the world just a little bit better in his own way. Smushy Come Home is also out now where you play as Smushy. I mean, what a cute name for the cutest little mushroom. <laughs> in this game, you're suddenly taken from your home and dropped in the middle of the forest, so you must set out on this unexpected journey to find your way home. While on this adventure, you encounter fellow forest creatures that help you along the way, or they may also need your help in different quests. This game encourages exploration, there's platforming and puzzle solving. You can even unlock different skins to customize Smushy while learning about real life mushrooms in a mycology journal. How cool is that? <laughs> mushrooms seem to often be present in cozy games or other sort of cozy cottage core themes, but I don't actually know much about them. I don't know about you, but I just thought that was a super wholesome addition to this game. Fall of Porcupine out on June 15 is a narrative-based adventure about a young and new doctor named Finley who just moved into the town of Porcupine. As time goes on and seasons change, he learns that things aren't exactly as it seems there and the other townsfolk may not be so honest about certain things as well. So there's a lot to get to know as you talk to your patients, both at work or just hanging out around town, and as you treat them through various different mini-games. On the game page, it mentions that Fall of Porcupine is a love letter to those who were there for us when we don't feel like ourselves. Games that tackle heartwarming subjects like this of hope and also despair are always a welcome addition in my cozy gaming library and a perfect example of why I love indie games. For many of us, cozy games offer that warmth and comforting experience, so I love to see game creators use their games as platforms to share things that matter to them and also help us appreciate those same subjects, all while being wrapped in a cute video game package that we can enjoy. A little to the left is a game that I have mentioned here in the past, but they are coming out with their DLC cupboards and drawers on June 27th. And if you haven't tried it yet, maybe this is a good time to do so, now jumping in with even more content that has you tidying and deep cleaning all the nooks and crannies of your home, including cupboards and drawers now. Organizing them once again in a puzzle-like gameplay just like in the original base game 
There's something so satisfying about getting all the little things in order and solving each puzzle. This has actually been one of my go-to cozy games I play on my Switch when I'm out and about because it's just so easy to jump in to do a puzzle or two at a time and you're able to get that quick fix of zen that comes from clearing or decluttering your spaces. Little Friends Puppy Island, also out on June 27, is for all of my fellow Nintendogs besties. In Little Friends' newest game, it welcomes us to a literal puppy paradise where you get to meet and befriend all the cutest puppies you could ever dream of while also exploring and customizing this perfect paradise for the doggos. There are over 140 variations of dogs to meet. You can bathe them, feed them, play with them, take them for a walk around the island. You can also train them to level up their different stats and as if this game can't get any better, you can also dress up your good boy or good girl with over 350 accessories to choose from. This really is the modern and best Nintendogs-like experience that we can get on the Switch today in my opinion and I really cannot wait for this one. Last but certainly not the least is another game coming out on June. 27, which is Story of Seasons A Wonderful Life. This is one of my most anticipated games of the year, to no surprise I'm sure. It's going to be a very busy cozy gaming weekend for us on the 27th because I know a lot of you are also looking forward to this one. Story of Seasons A Wonderful Life takes us on a nostalgic trip back to the original GameCube game but remade even better adding more content and tons of quality of life improvements. Notably, more choice to customize our characters and our farm and home, even down to choosing what pronouns you want the villagers to use for you. They're also introducing new hybrid crops for you to experiment with, new facilities. Of course, there's meeting your romance partner and starting a family with them and eventually raising your child to see if they will follow along your footsteps in this relaxing farm life. Along with everything else we already loved about the OG game, I think we can just all agree that this game is high up there for the best farming life sim experience of 2023. I grew up on Xseed and Marvelous Games since the Game Boy days and I really feel like their releases for the Switch have been so strong lately and they're not even nearly done because they announced four new farming titles in development along with other titles in their recent Marvelous showcase and everything just looked so amazing. Of course, once we learn more about them, you'll definitely hear about the updates from me. I mean, a huge shout out is in order for the Wholesome Games team and of course the indie devs and their teams for their hard work in bringing us all of the cozy games that we could ever ask for. If you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be kind to yourselves and I will see you next time.